Oh yeah, baby, Airzog Star Soldier 1 <laughs> World Champion, or who the heck I am, <laughs> back from the Mountain Show. Uh, it was you know, pretty good. You know, I always love going to these as uh, different swats and talking to everybody again, but yeah, this one was pretty tiring. Not only was it like super quiet and everything because I think everybody was burned out from swaps, but I don't know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it wasn't like the busiest of swaps, so we didn't make like a lot of money, me and Jason, but yeah, and <laughs> I was already down on the dumps as it is because it's been kind of a hard week for me, but uh, anyways, yeah, I shouldn't really like go into that too much. Uh, the swap, yeah, again, I, even a bad swap is still pretty good because the reason why this one wasn't so good, it wasn't that busy, it was on a holiday weekend, and <laughs> it was super hot in there too, so I gotta change out this TurboGrafx 16 shirt, but this is just super sweaty and kind of gross, <laughs> but I love my TurboGrafx 16 shirt, and I did get a few things at the show, so I might as well show them here because, yeah, it's kind of exciting. <laughs> yeah, Jason, you know, relaxation, he was super, super excited about the show too. He was always telling me, hey, yo, get in the spirit, you know, have some fun. <laughs> get all excited and everything because it's time for a swap. Yeah! <laughs> and then he did like a somersault in the air. Total 360. It was amazing. Oh, yeah, speaking of amazing, here's the Dreamcast. Yeah. Okay, one moment. Thank you. <laughs> ah, yeah, let the cat in. <laughs> well, anyways, yeah, Dreamcast, it's awesome. I got that toy rat because I had a little bit of money left, but you know, we toy rat, he also did like a trade with me. So, you know, he took some of my games and he gave me the Dreamcast and a few other games here. I figured that was kind of cool. I've been on the Atari kick as of late, so I got some Atari games. Gonna see if I can get some records on them. Problem with Atari games, online Turbograph 16 games, is that they're like <laughs> lots and lots of world records for these. <laughs> because, you know, Twin Galaxies was around the 80s and everybody was going all crazy trying to get the best scores so I'm gonna see if I can play games like these and at least get on the leaderboards and have some fun <laughs> so I don't think they're gonna be like top records because some of those scores are like in the millions but I'm gonna try you know and just play and remember my days when I was a bright little kid playing some Atari cartridges and getting the games for like a dollar each <laughs> Now they're a bit more expensive. Now these games could be up to $3. <laughs> yeah, I got the Coleco version of that's on. Yeah, I got Mousetrap here. Yeah, I remember a lot of these. A lot of them, you know, play like Patman and all that. Because <laughs> that was the style at the time. Tons of Atari. Yeah, Coleco version, version, <laughs> the Coleco vision version of Defender. Yeah, that one was always good. Got some Vernzi here, which is Berserk 2. Yeah, I got some Time Pilot. Hey, yeah, got some Rock and Rope. Yeah, I like the Atari version of that one. Got some Bump and Jump. Yeah. What else did I got here? Okay. I got a weird demo tape of, yeah, Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> now, because Super Mario Brothers is probably one of the best video games ever made, this probably has to be one of the best movies ever made too. So can't wait to watch this, but of course I don't have a VCR no more. So I don't know how to, hotwire my blu-ray player and figure out a way to play this 
Yeah, yeah, this one's weird too because it has demo tape on here. I don't know what that means. I don't know if this is gonna be like a preview of Super Mario Brothers and it's not the full movie. <laughs> so we'll see. Okay, what else do we got here? <laughs> yeah, just tons of goodies. Yeah, I got this over at Spencer's table. Yeah, I had the Dreamcast game that I remember that was actually kind of tough to get for me. Yeah, the Ritual Grace Arcades Hit Volumes 2. One of the final Dreamcast games released for a system, so I figured it would be cool to try again because I remember playing Moon Patrol on this. I always love playing Moon Patrol. Okay, got some Hubert. Again, the Naratari game or in the yeah in the Atari era came on Nintendo and yeah it's a pretty good port. Okay. More goodies. Yeah. Co got a couple of Vetris titles. Oh man, that one's shaking a little bit. Hopefully it'll work. <laughs> yeah, I just need to find a Vetrets. Yeah, so Spike and Berserk. For Sega Genesis, I got a game called Funny World and Balloon. Never heard of it. <laughs> so and so it was cheap, so I figured why not. Got this off Brad's table. You know, he gave me a good deal on it. You know, this one is cool because even though I don't like the main game where you're telling Batman to look, look, or glide, glide, and it's just not very fun. It's not like an action platform or anything like that. Now, the reason why I like this one is because it includes the original Pac-Man and a version of Junior Pac-Man on this card too, so yeah, I think that's pretty good value. Okay, what else I got here? Okay, got a couple of Super Nintendo games, but <laughs> some of that are pretty cheap. You know, Will Fortune and NHL 93, so nothing too special. But I did get some Mario Party here. And this one is kind of cool because Nintendo has not re-released this game. They've released Mario Party 2 on like the virtual console and all that because, yeah, they got no problem with that one. But yeah, this one on the other hand, I think caused some lawsuits because it has those games where you're using the thumb stick and just a thumb stick and a lot of people would, would just go like this and they would injure themselves <laughs> you know <laughs> I'm a world champion at video games and sometimes you know I can understand people going all hardcore for games so I know what it's like to be kind of not sometimes and, but injuring yourself to play some Mario Party I don't know, that's just fucking stupid. <laughs> but yeah, thankfully, you know, they realized, okay, we can't do that no more. Sorry kids for breaking your hands and everything with Mario Party. So we're gonna change out the game. And yeah, <laughs> we're just gonna give you Mario Party 2. Yeah, I don't think Mario Party 3 has been re-released either, but again, they could always just make a new Mario Party and say, don't buy the old ones, just get our new ones and shit. <laughs> and stop complaining, stop injuring yourself, you idiots. <laughs> ah, yeah, and I think that's it. Okay. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> it's just uh, some other things I got. Like, I'm a big fan of Tetris Spear. So I got this. It's a Tetris Spear box. I got a Tetris Spear up there. I got the world record currently on some uh, hide and seek and rescue missions. So you're looking at the world champion for that. One of the few N64 games I'm kind of good at. <laughs> so I figure I'll get a nicer box here. And yeah, this one looks pretty clean. And yeah. And I also wore my championship at the show too. So I figure why not? 
It's one of the few times where I can bring out the ballad and I don't look too silly. But it's hard to look too silly when you got, you know, 20 pounds of steel. <laughs> yeah, and it's so nice and shiny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to look too goofy when you got a glorious belt like this. <laughs> <laughs> I just love showing that off. And speaking of showing off, yeah, they're gonna have like an air show again. Yeah, the Milton Vio Gain swap. This time, yeah, I'll have to read that. Yeah, Saturday, September 3rd, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., 21 Charles St. Road, Milton, Ontario, Canada. So if you're ever in the neighborhood, that's when the net show is going to be. And yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's very easy to find if you're in the area, you know where the Legion is. You know, that's where you got to go. All right. And that's it for me. Hey, Oscar, you want to come up here? Come on. Yep. Yep. Maybe if I pretend I got food, yeah, he'll come here. <laughs> oh no, he's going to the window. <laughs> come on, I got a neutral green bar. <laughs> uh, no, he's not coming on camera. All right, I'll just end the video here. <laughs> okay, thank you all for watching. Thanks to everybody who saw by our table. <laughs> If you didn't buy anything, screw you. No. <laughs> yeah. So I made a decent amount of money. I got a decent amount of games. And I still had fun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just a little soaked now. And I got to change up. It was way too hot today. And yeah. <laughs> more people need to show up. <laughs> Sometimes me and Jason were just twiddling our thumbs and everything. You know, playing some <laughs> playing on our phones. But hey. What can you do? Still, I'll do it all again. <laughs> Especially with the new show coming up in fall. And yeah, there's another one coming up in Hamilton. And yeah, I'm going to see if I can go to Game Mets too. Right now, yeah, I got to worry about paying my bills and stuff. Hey, Oscar. Oscar. What up? Come on. Okay. <laughs> I get to show off. Hey, Oscar. Ah, I love you, dude. Oh, don't want to seem too sappy because this guy he'll rip your throat out if you're not too careful he's a miniature tiger yeah ferocious killing machine <laughs> with the cutest paws in the world yeah <laughs> okay i'll end it now i got nothing else to say i just wanted to show off the cat <sighs> okay <laughs> thanks for subbing and everything thanks for watching yeah, I love you sauce. Okay. This is Arizona World Heavyweight Champion Star Soldier 1, baby. Over and out.